Picture this, a universe so vast, so incomprehensibly immense that its edges blur into a cosmic horizon where time and space twist in ways we can barely grasp. For centuries, we've gazed at the stars, piecing together the story of our cosmos with telescopes, equations, and a touch of wonder. But now, as of August 16th, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has delivered a revelation that's rewriting the script of everything we thought we knew. This isn't just about distant galaxies, or faint flickers of light. It's about discovering that the edge of the observable universe isn't a void, but a bustling, structured, and unsettling frontier that challenges the very foundations of cosmology. Buckle up, because this journey to the cosmic edge will shake your understanding of reality and leave you hungry for more. Let's start with the bombshell. JWST hasn't just mapped ancient galaxies. It's given us the first detailed glimpse of what might be the true edge of the observable universe. For decades, we imagined Imagine this edge as a blurry limit, a point where light from the earliest moments of the Big Bang fades into a distant haze. But the data flooding in from JWST tells a different story. The edge isn't empty, it's alive with structure, clusters of galaxies, swirling motion, and something far more disturbing. Hints of a symmetry that suggests the universe isn't the uniform bubble we thought it was. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, expecting to see a vast empty plane stretching into infinity. Instead, you find a chaotic cityscape, teeming with towering structures that shouldn't exist. That's what JWST has revealed. The Cosmos Web Survey, a groundbreaking project mapping nearly 800,000 galaxies in unprecedented detail, has shown there are 10 times more galaxies in the early universe than the Hubble Space Telescope ever predicted. These aren't just scattered stars, they're fully formed cosmic metropolises, blazing with light and heavy with metals, suggesting multiple generations of stars formed within a mere 300 million years of the Big Bang. Caitlin Casey, co-leader of the Cosmos Web Project, put it best. The universe was producing too much light too early. It had only about 400 million years to form something like a billion solar masses of stars. We just don't know how to make that happen. It's as if the universe built skyscrapers overnight, in the dark, during a cosmic power outage. How? Why? The answers are forcing scientists to rethink the universe's infancy. The surprises don't stop there. JWST has spotted something even more jaw-dropping. Monster black holes, like the one in Galaxy UHZ1, weighing between 10 and 100 million solar masses when the universe was just 470 million years old. To put that in perspective, that's like a toddler lifting a semi-truck. These black holes shouldn't exist so soon after the Big Bang. Our models predicted it would take billions of years for such massive objects to form. Yet here they are, defying every rule in the cosmic place book. Some cosmologists are now proposing a radical idea. Primordial gas clouds might have skipped star formation entirely, collapsing directly into black holes. This direct collapse theory could explain how these behemoths form so quickly, but it demands a complete rewrite of the universe's first chapters. It's like discovering that the opening scene of a movie you've watched a hundred times was actually a chaotic action sequence, not a quiet prelude. What else have we gotten wrong? As if that weren't enough, JWST's data reveals something even more unsettling. The universe isn't symmetrical. For years, we assumed matter was distributed evenly across the cosmos, creating a uniform backdrop of galaxies and voids. But the telescope's deep field images show density asymmetries at large redshift scales, meaning the universe is lopsided in ways that defy our basic assumptions. Galaxy clusters in certain regions of the sky seem to be streaming toward an unseen attractor, a mysterious force pulling at the fabric of space-time itself. NASA researchers have tracked this motion out to at least 2.5 billion light years, and the pattern persists. This isn't random noise. It's a signal that something massive might be lurking beyond the observable edge. Is it a hidden structure, a gravitational anomaly, or something even stranger? The data aligns with earlier observations of dark flow, a controversial phenomenon suggesting that galaxy clusters are being tugged in a specific direction. Imagine the universe as a vast ocean and we're suddenly noticing a current pulling everything toward an invisible shore. What's out there? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious to hear what you think this could be. 
This asymmetry isn't entirely new. Years ago, the Planck satellite detected puzzling anomalies in the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang. Scientists found a mysterious cold spot and temperature patterns dubbed the axis of evil because they shouldn't exist in a perfectly uniform universe. Now, JWST's large-scale galaxy clustering patterns are aligning with these anomalies, suggesting they're not just random quirks. Multiple studies indicate the universe might be slightly lopsided sided on cosmic scales, like a balloon that stretched more on one side during inflation. This discovery raises profound questions about cosmic inflation, the rapid expansion that shaped the universe in its first fraction of a second. If the universe is uneven, it could mean inflation wasn't as uniform as we thought. The implications are staggering. The shape of the universe itself might be more complex than our models allow, with ripples and distortions that hint at a deeper structure we can't yet see. Enter the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a structure so massive it defies comprehension. New measurements completed in April 2025 estimate its size at over 10 billion light years across, roughly 10% of the observable universe. To grasp this, consider that standard cosmology predicts structures shouldn't exceed 1.2 billion light years. This cosmic behemoth is eight times larger than that limit, a single formation so vast it challenges everything we know about how gravity assembles matter. Researcher John Hakala summed it up. Our sample isn't large enough to place an upper limit on its size. It's larger than anything we might compare it to. This isn't just a big structure. It's a cosmic anomaly that shouldn't exist under our current models. Some scientists argue it could only form if inflation allowed power on larger scales than predicted, rewriting the rules of how the universe's initial fluctuations took shape. Others suggest it might be a rare statistical fluke, a cosmic lottery win in our field of view. A few daring theorists propose an even wilder idea. Could this be a remnant from a previous cycle of the universe? A scar from a cosmic rebirth? Now, let's dive into something even more mind-bending. Time itself might not be consistent. When astronomers analyze light from the most distant objects, they're looking back in time, billions of years into the past. JWST's observations of distant supernovae reveal subtle but persistent deviations in time dilation, the stretching of time predicted by Einstein's relativity. Events at the universe's edge aren't unfolding at the rates our models expect, suggesting time might have flowed differently in the early universe. This anomaly ties into the Hubble tension, a long-standing puzzle where measurements of the universe's expansion rate don't agree. The Planck satellite pegs the current expansion rate at about 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while direct measurements of nearby galaxies yield a higher value, around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This 9% discrepancy might be a clue that expansion affects time non-linearly, a twist that could force us to rethink not just space, but the nature of time itself. Imagine clocks at the universe's edge ticking out of sync with ours, as if time itself is dancing to a different rhythm. As scientists grapple with these findings, bold new theories are emerging. Some researchers have identified fractal symmetry patterns in the CMB, potential relics of cosmic strings, hypothetical scars in space-time from the universe's violent birth. These strings could be physical remnants of when space-time shattered, like cracks in cooling glass. The mysterious cold spot in the CMB, long a puzzle, is also gaining attention. While some attribute it to a vast supervoid, others propose it might be a bubble scar from a colliding universe a point where our cosmos brushed against another in a larger multiverse. Then there's the tantalizing possibility of ancient gravitational waves, ripples in space-time from the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. Future observatories like the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, set to launch in the 2030s, could detect these primordial echoes, offering a glimpse beyond even the cosmic microwave background. These discoveries don't just tweak our models, they redefine what we are. The universe isn't a quiet empty expanse. It's a crowded, dynamic arena, possibly one of many in a vast cosmic tapestry. Let's step back and reflect on what we thought we knew. For decades, we understood the observable universe to be about 94 billion light years across, not because it's 13.8 billion years old in each direction, but because space has been expanding since the Big Bang. The CMB, formed 380,000 years after the Big Bang, marks the moment when the universe cooled enough for atoms to form and light to travel freely. We've known about the Hubble tension and the universe's composition, 5% ordinary matter, 27% dark matter, 
matter and 68% dark energy for years. But JWST's findings are shaking these foundations, revealing a universe that's overbuilt, overcrowded, and far from average. The infant universe wasn't a slow, gentle emergence. It was a fireworks show, bursting into action almost immediately after the Big Bang. Galaxies formed faster, black holes grew larger, and structures spanned farther than our models ever predicted. Every new map from JWST tells us we're living in something strange, something active, and we may never find its true edge. The story doesn't end here. JWST and the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch in 2027, are just getting started. Roman will map billions of galaxies over thousands of square degrees, building 3D maps with unprecedented precision. What might we find? Hints of early gravitational wave backgrounds could reveal conditions from the universe's first moments. We might uncover evidence of quantum limits to space-time, where the universe's information capacity hits fundamental boundaries. Most profound Profoundly, we could find signs that our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam, a single branch in a quantum multiverse. Each time we push our telescopes farther, fainter, and into new wavelengths, the universe surprises us. It's more dynamic, more complex, and more unexpected than we ever imagined. So what do you think is out there? A hidden structure, a multiverse, or something we can't even conceive? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's spark a conversation. If this journey to the cosmic edge has you hooked, hit that like button to show your support and share this with someone who loves unraveling the mysteries of the universe. The cosmos is calling and we're only beginning to answer. Imagine peering into a photo album of the universe's earliest moments, each snapshot revealing a story stranger than the last. That's what JWST is doing as it captures light from the cosmic dawn, the era when the first stars and galaxies flickered into existence. Recent data from the telescope's near-infrared camera, NIR-CAM, has unveiled galaxies at redshifts beyond Z equals 12, meaning we're seeing them as they were less than 200 million years after the Big Bang. These aren't just faint glimmers, they're vibrant star-forming powerhouses packed with heavy elements like oxygen and carbon that should take billions of years to forge. This discovery, reported in a 2025 study published in Nature Astronomy, suggests that the early universe was a far more industrious place than we ever imagined. It's like finding a bustling metropolis where we expected a sleepy village. How did these galaxies assemble so quickly? Some scientists speculate that unknown physical processes, perhaps involving exotic particles or undetected energy fields, accelerated star formation. Others wonder if our timeline of the Big Bang itself needs recalibration. What do you think could drive such rapid cosmic construction? Share your ideas in the comments because this mystery is rewriting the universe's baby book. Now, let's zoom out to the cosmic currents pulling at the fabric of our universe. JWST's observations of galaxy clusters streaming toward an unseen force, potentially the great attractor, have reignited debates about what lies beyond the observable edge. In 2025, astronomers using JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, confirmed that galaxy clusters in the direction of the Centaurus constellation are moving at speeds up to 600 kilometers per second, far faster than expected for random cosmic motion. This flow, tracked out to 2.5 billion light years, hints at a gravitational influence from something massive, perhaps a super cluster or even a structure outside our observable universe. The data builds on earlier findings from the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, which detected similar motions in 2024. It's as if the universe is a giant tapestry and something unseen is tugging at its threads, creating ripples we can only just detect. Could this be evidence of a neighboring universe? universe exerting gravitational pull? Or is it a relic of cosmic inflation gone awry? The answer might lie in future observations, but for now, it's a cosmic cliffhanger that keeps us staring into the void. Drop your wildest theories in the comments. What's pulling the universe in this mysterious dance? The idea of a multiverse isn't just science fiction anymore. It's a hypothesis gaining traction as JWST's data piles up. The telescope's deep field images, combined with CMB anomalies from the Planck satellite, suggest our universe might be one of many bubbles in a vast cosmic foam. In a 2025 paper published in Physical Review Letters, researchers proposed that the CMB's cold spot, spanning 1.8 billion light years, could be a bruise from a collision with another universe during the inflationary epoch. JWST's observations of galaxy distributions near this region show peculiar alignments, with fewer galaxies than expected 
connected, as if something disrupted normal structure formation. Picture two soap bubbles brushing against each other, leaving a faint mark where their surfaces meet. That's what we might be seeing. This multiverse theory, while speculative, aligns with quantum cosmology models suggesting that inflation spawned countless universes with varying physical laws. If true, our universe is just one chapter in an infinite cosmic anthology. Does the idea of other universes spark your imagination? Hit that like button if you're ready to explore beyond our cosmic bubble and share your thoughts in the comments. What if the universe has a hard limit, not just in space, but in the very information it can hold? JWST's ultra-deep observations are pushing us toward the quantum edges of reality, where space-time might behave like a pixelated screen. In 2025, a team at the European Southern Observatory analyzed JWST data alongside theoretical models, finding hints that the universe's smallest scales, down to the Planck length of 10 to the negative 35th power meters, might impose boundaries on how much detail we can observe. These quantum limits could explain why some distant galaxies appear smeared in JWST's images, as if the universe's resolution caps out at extreme distances. It's like zooming in on a digital photo until it becomes a blocky mosaic. This discovery, reported in astrophysical journal Letters, suggests that space-time itself might have a fundamental graininess, a texture woven into its fabric. If confirmed, it could mean the universe operates like a cosmic computer with finite processing power. How would it feel to know reality has a pixel limit. Let's keep this conversation going. Share your reactions in the comments and tap that like button if this mind-bending idea blows you away. Let's rewind to the universe's explosive beginning, a moment so fleeting yet so pivotal that it shaped everything we see today. Cosmic inflation, that split-second expansion 13.8 billion years ago, stretched the universe from smaller than a proton to the size of a grapefruit in less than a trillionth of a second. JWST's 2025 data, particularly from the Cosmos Web Survey, suggests this process wasn't as smooth as we thought. The telescope's maps of early galaxy clusters reveal power asymmetries, regions where fluctuations in matter density were stronger than predicted. These findings, detailed in a Science Journal article, that inflation might have been patchy, with some areas expanding faster than others. Imagine blowing up a balloon, but certain patches stretch faster, creating a lumpy, uneven surface. This could explain the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall and other oversized structures that defy standard models. If inflation was chaotic, it might have left behind cosmic strings or other relics we're only now detecting. What do you think the universe looked like in that first fiery moment? Drop a comment with your vision of this cosmic fireworks show and let's see how wild your imagination gets. The cosmic journey is far from over, and the next chapter promises to be even more thrilling. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch in 2027, will build on JWST's legacy by mapping billions of galaxies in 3D, using both imaging and spectroscopy to create the most detailed cosmic atlas yet. Meanwhile, the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, slated for the 2030s, could detect primordial gravitational waves, ripples from the Big Bang Bang's first instant, that might confirm confirm the multiverse hypothesis or reveal new physics. A 2025 report from the International Astronomical Union highlights that these missions could uncover evidence of topological defects like cosmic strings or even quantum foam where space-time bubbles at microscopic scale. 